I'm Chelsea Bramlett. V-Realm Sports is excited to finally share our secret for baseball and softball hitters across the country. And our product is the hitting rope. This video is going to show you exactly how to set it up and take it down. Step one, you're going to take both turnbuckles and you're going to loosen them slightly to where they are about halfway on each side. Step two, it doesn't matter which side you take, you're going to simply hook it onto one side of the fence, keep it nice and tight, and then hook it onto the other end of the fence fully as tightly as you can. So we have a little bit of slack, but not a lot. Step three, all you're going to do is simply take, hold one side of the turnbuckle, and tighten until it is almost fully tightened. If you still have slack in the rope, as we do here, then we can go to the other end and tighten this end as well. Very little slack in the rope, very little movement. As you are setting the rope, be sure that you can set it to any level that you want to. The recommended level is right about uh, waist high. All right, with the ball, as you can tell with the uh, player I have right here, the ball is right about at her waist. You can work high and low. You can also work inside and outside, depending on what you want to work that day or what you're actually having trouble with. Okay, taking the hitting rope down is really as easy as putting it up. All you're going to do is come over to one side of the turnbuckle. You're going to loosen it, push forward, let it go, and then we want to wrap it up. put it into the storage bag. Alright, the next tip we're going to show you is how to lengthen or shorten the rope. You'll notice that we have our two ends here. This end right here is fixed. It is not adjustable, so we're going to put that one right down to the side. This one is adjustable. Now, the uh, little bolts have already been loosened. If you want to shorten the rope, you're going to simply loosen these and you're going to take one end and you're just going to pull it to your desired length. All right, once we get it there, then we're going to take tighten these down. I like to use a tool that we have already pre-made, but you can use an adjustable wrench as well, which is what most people would use. If you want to lengthen the rope, you're going to again just tighten the just loosen the bolts. We can simply take and pull out the that side of the rope to our desired length. Once we get it long enough, then we can just tighten it up. And again, be sure that it's really tight before you use it. Otherwise, it will come undone and will not stay tight up against the fence. All right, after repeated use, a lot of times, especially if you don't keep the rope conditioned like you need to, the balls will become very worn. Now, there's one or two options that you can do. First things first, we want to be sure that we loosen our adjustable end and that we completely take everything off and we can simply slide the uh, wiffle balls on and off like that. Now you can either buy new wiffle balls or you can simply take these and you can rotate them. Just be sure that when you rotate them and put them back on whether you're replacing them fully or not that the ball is in the center of the rope. We don't want it lopsided to where it's one side or the other because then we're not teaching proper mechanics. So we want to be sure just like this ball is on the rope right now that it is nice and level and that way we have the perfect swing.